Hello everyone, let's learn how to troubleshoot high memory issues in SQL Server. So you started to face high memory coming from SQL Server. When you look at Task Manager, you found that SQL Server is consuming more than 90% of your system memory. So what's the next step? Firstly, we should define the cause of this. We can define the causes mainly into two categories. First category is high memory utilization not coming from SQL Server. The components used with but not within SQL Server like all the DB providers, CLR functions or procedures are considered as external to SQL Server. When they consume memory, Windows OS reports this utilization as SQL Server memory utilization. Also, the components actually are external. Second category is high memory utilization coming from SQL Server components. Internal memory pressure coming from components inside SQL Server engine can also lead to memory contention. There are hundreds of components that allocate memory in SQL Server. For example, memory for transaction logs, memory for query plans, memory for operators such as sorting, right? Memory for SQL Server log pool or buffer pool. Each of these components contribute to SQL Server memory utilization. So how to define which category is causing high utilization? For this, you can easily utilize performance monitor counters, total server memory, and private bytes. If private bytes is significantly higher than the total server memory, category 1 is causing high memory utilization. Please pay attention here. Private bytes being higher than total memory is expected, of course, usually. But if it is significantly high, like 4 GB or 5 GB, then category 1 components are the most probably causing the issue. Okay? If they are nearly equal or private bytes is not significantly high, like 400, 300 megabytes, we can suspect category 2 is a cause. So, we are clear about the possible causes and how to identify the causes, right? Now, how to troubleshoot? Firstly, if you found category A is possible issue by running this task click command in command prompt or this query in SQL Server, you can define which DLL and external components are loaded inside SQL Server. The resolution steps depends on what DLL is causing the issue. Often the bug in the DLLs and um, incorrectly configured DLLs can cause memory contentions. In this case, you should approach the support team of these DLLs. If Microsoft, Microsoft support, or if Microsoft support, or if it is third party, the third party team is responsible for this high utilization. For example, antivirus, right? Also, one more important point. If you suspect a linked server module is causing significant memory consumption, you can configure it to run out of process by disabling allow in process option. For example, you can start performance monitor and choose private bytes and total server memory for your SQL Server instance. Let's scale these counters. You can see here that private bytes is high by around 400, 300 megabyte, which is not significant. Therefore, there is not a problem with DLLs. If this, is, if this difference is high number, let's say for 6 GB, as I told you, which is very much significant and also if you are experiencing high memory utilization in Task Manager, it is highly due to DLLs outside of your SQL Server. You should check any antivirus, third-party DLLs, which might be causing this issue. Now, what about if we found category 2 is an issue? 
Luckily, SQL Server offers clerks for each component. You can use this query and define which clerk and component is causing the issue. For example, if memory clerk SQL Server reservations clerk is consuming high memory, this means that one or a few of your queries are being run inefficiently with huge memory grants. You should find these queries and try to optimize them. We will see this kind of example later. Or suppose object store log manager is consuming high memory. If this clerk shows large memory allocations, you should identify queries that apply many logs and optimize them by using indexes. One more important point. We often find SQL buffer pool related clerk consumes a lot of memory. Sometimes 90 or 95% of total SQL memory is, being cons is consumed by SQL buffer pool. This is often expected behavior and you shouldn't worry because SQL Server uses buffer pool memory to cache the data in memory and, minim and tries to minimize I.O. operations to improve performance. Of course, there are some cases where large size of buffer pool might be issue for you. For example, you have one, in, one uh, inefficient query which is bringing all the data to the memory from disk Although you need a few rows. In this case, you are populating buffer pool cache with unnecessary data. I can recommend fine tuning this kind of queries and creating indexes in this case. If you want to limit this buffer pool memory utilization, you should set max server memory utilization in SQL Server. I will show example of this. So to summarize, if you find category 2 is a cause, you should run this query and identify which clerk and corresponding component is causing a lot of memory and troubleshoot accordingly. But if you find buffer pool is consuming mainly, you can ignore it and set max server memory utilization if you want to limit this clerk. Let's see example. Currently, Memory utilization is around 70% and a lot of this utilization is coming from SQL Server, as you can see. Now, let's check where this utilization is coming from. I go to Performance Monitor and check Private Bytes and Total Server Memory. As you can see, there is not so much difference between these metrics. This means utilization is mainly coming from SQL Server internal components itself. Category 2 is a cause here. Let's run this query and check which component is causing high utilization. Oh, it is SQL buffer pool. You can see here buffer pool is taking around 2 GB. If you observe such kind of behavior, I mean, high buffer pool memory utilization. This means you are bringing a lot of data to memory from disk with your query and SQL Server is just caching this data. This is expected behavior because SQL Server uses data in cache to improve performance for future queries. If you want to prevent this kind of high buffer pool issue, try to fine tune your queries with, with high physical reads. Okay? You can restrict buffer pool, of course, memory utilization by using max server memory configuration in SQL Server. You just set your limit here and after that buffer pool will not use memory more than this value. Now let's add buffer pool metric in performance monitor. This is a number of pages in buffer pool. This is not KB, okay? Please be careful. The, the metrics is different. So this is the number of pages. Now, let's clear buffer pool by running this dbcc command. As you can see, buffer pool now has been cleaned. But interestingly, SQL Server is not releasing memory. It is still keeping memory. Why? Is there, any, is there anything wrong? It is memory leak? No. 
This is not memory leak or problem. Okay? This is expected behavior. Let me explain this in this way. For example, SQL Server is acquiring 20% uh, of system memory, and from this, we found that category B component, that is buffer pool, is consuming a lot of memory for caching the data. As a result, system memory utilization spiked. Then, your select query finished. Is the committed memory released? No. SQL Server still keeps memory even after your select query finishes. Why? Because SQL Server keeps cache in the memory for possible future use as we found, right? We, we, we saw this kind of example already. Therefore, you see memory utilization keeps the same level even after your query finishes. Then we deleted cache in buffer pool, but SQL Server still kept memory after that also. SQL Server only releases memory when OS experiences memory pressure. Therefore, we conclude as once the memory is acquired, it will not be released unless memory pressure is detected. This is by design and does not indicate a memory leak in SQL Server process. So, this is expected behavior. We don't have memory pressure in OS level now, therefore SQL Server is just not releasing memory. If you want to make SQL Server release memory, either restart, restart SQL Server or use max uh, memory setting. Let me set max server memory utilization to 1 GB. As you can see, now SQL Server released memory. From this example, what you can conclude is, if you found high SQL Server memory utilization and this utilization is coming from buffer pool, this does not necessarily mean memory contention. Also, once SQL Server acquires memory, it does not release it until OS level memory pressure is observed. Okay? Let me show you another example. This is another example where there is high memory utilization coming from SQL Server. Private bytes and total server memory utilization is close, which means main utilization is coming from SQL Server components, internal components. Let's check which component is consuming memory. Again, buffer pool, what do you think? No, this time SQL Server reservations clerk. Hmm, what does this mean? What does this clerk represent, right? For this, I go to clerk documentation, public documentation from Microsoft, and find this. It, this means that this memory clerk is used for memory grant allocations, that is, memory allocated to queries to perform sort and hash operations during query execution. Oh, oh I see. This means that when your, your query uses sort, order by kind of things, this memory is used, this kind of memory, okay? We call this as memory grant. This means that there are some queries running with high memory grant consuming a lot of memory. In this case, you should find queries with high memory grant by using this kind of query and find why is this query is consuming so much memory? In my case, you can see hundreds of queries with around 4 megabyte memory grant requests, right, are running at the same time. This is causing high memory utilization in SQL Server. Of course, this is uh, I did this for testing. Here, we are using order by close, okay? Uh, so, SQL Server is using this memory to order by your data in memory. I have another session to troubleshoot this kind of issues, I mean, uh, memory grant issues. In detail, please refer to this above link if you want to learn to troubleshoot this kind of issues. Okay, I do not go deep here. In, in this case, in short, either you should add more memory or run this memory intensive query sequentially, not in parallel, so that they can utilize queries in turn. Or you can fine tune your queries, like if you don't need order by close, you had better omit this.
Okay, in this case, SQL Server do not use memory grant. I have one another interesting case. As you can see, there is memory pressure in the server coming from SQL Server again. Private bytes and total server memory utilization is close. Therefore, we investigate internal components again. When we checked clerks, interestingly, no clerk is using so much memory. If clerks are also not using memory, where it is coming from? Why SQL Server is using so much memory? What is happening, right? Is this memory leak? No, no, do not rush. So, what is happening? Let me explain this. As you might remember, when we deleted buffer pool, SQL Server did not release memory. The same issue is happening here. Some component used a lot of memory just a few minutes ago, and then this component freed memory. Okay? As a result, a lot of free memory left inside committed memory of SQL Server. You can, you can see this with free memory counter in performance monitor. Therefore, when you see high memory utilization, there is possibility that most of this memory was used, used uh, by some clerks in the past and already free now. This is not memory leak and, ex and this is expected behavior. So we can summarize our troubleshooting steps as this. Now let's speak about monitoring and detecting memory contention in SQL Server. We understand that high memory utilization of SQL Server due to data caching buffer pool is expected behavior because SQL Server uses cache for better performance. But what happens if SQL Server uses memory for other components instead of buffer pool? We already saw this kind of example, right? Uh, SQL Server was using a lot of memory for memory grant. This kind of situation leads to less cache. SQL Server can keep only a little cache in the memory. This leads to several performance issues like high disk I.O., high latency, increased CPU utilization. Therefore, you should always monitor how SQL Server is utilizing buffer pool and check possible memory contention. For this, you can use these metrics. First one is buffer cache hit ratio and second one is page life expectancy. If the values are higher than the threshold values, you can conclude your server is not experiencing memory contention. Okay? If the values are low, you should check which category A uh, and B category components are causing excessive memory and causing the contention. We already saw that, right? You know that. Also, often SQL Server might experience memory contention due to factors outside of SQL Server like other applications in the server. You can spot this easily by using Task Manager. If any of the application or service other than SQL Server is consuming a lot of memory, you should approach team responsible for the service and troubleshoot accordingly. If the application is expected to consume a lot of memory like this, you should add more physical memory to the server so that SQL Server and your application can allocate memory and does not fight for memory. Okay? So, I hope that you found this session useful. See you in the next sessions. Thank you.